Caitlin, we're here at Celtic Park, the venue, of course, for this Saturday's match against Hibernian. Tell us, what's the excitement like in the squad to walk out and play in front of the Celtic fans on Saturday? Oh, it couldn't be higher. Um, it's just a, it's a game that everybody wants to play and you can tell that this week's a little different with the buzz that's around training. We were fortunate enough to have a stadium tour um, a couple of weeks back and that was honestly just an eye-opener as to what this club means to everybody and, and to the the pinnacle part of Glasgow that it is and just to know that what you're playing for and who you're playing for and what the badge means to everyone gives it that extra special momentum going into the game. Thousands of fans are coming to the stadium to watch you and the girls play. You will be hoping for an excellent turnout that will really cheer you on to victory. Yeah, of course. Of course, we want as many bums in seats, um, but that's not our main focus. Our main focus is playing well, performing well and reaping the three points at the end of the game. So, like I said, that'll, that spe that moment will be even more special with people in the seats. But if it's not, it's not our main focus. It's just getting the three points. You've played here before. You played the last season. It was a 1-0 victory against Rangers. It was an empty paradise that night due to the pandemic. But again, just come back to the, to the excitement that's going to be in front of fans this time. I know the manager will be excited and you'll be excited too. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't take much to get Fran excited um, and it doesn't take much to get us uh, feeding off his energy. Um, so like I said, bums in seats or not, that will still bring that excitement just to play on this park is, is an honour and it's a privilege that won't be taken lightly and just can't wait for that moment to step out onto this field and represent the hoops again. Talking about the season as a whole, you've made Celtic history this year. You scored a goal that, that won us a, a cup competition back in December. Going well in another cup, Rangers knocked out of that by yourselves. So what's the, what's the ambitions there? Are you hoping you can bring another trophy home? We just win every game, win every game and put everything into a single training session. I'm obviously super thankful to have that moment of scoring that cup goal, but at the end of the day, anyone could have scored and that moment would have been just as special. Um, so yeah, we've got one silverware, but hopefully we go for another another silverware in the other cup. And then obviously what will happen in the league will be, um, but two out of three won't be that bad if we uh, if that's how it stands at the end of the season. And talking about Hibernian on Saturday, they're your opponents and they'll also thrive in front of playing in front of Celtic fans here at the stadium. Of course, same mindset, respect all but fear none. We concentrate on what we can what we can control and just hopefully we'll reap the three points. Then they're a good side, they're a great side and they've challenged us greatly in the past and we know that they'll be here for an upset but we're here to have a great day and reap the three points and like I said, represent the hoops the way they should be. Anthony, we're here at Celtic Park to promote the women's team playing here against Hibernian on Saturday. We're hoping for a big crowd here for them. How much does that atmosphere push you on as a squad and what it can do for them? Yeah, for sure. You know, you see, um, you know, when, when us lads, we go out and we play, uh, you know, every game here, the, the support that we get is amazing. Um, it's no secret, you know, they're the best fans uh, to have and it really pushes us on. So um, for, it's no different, you know, for the women's team as well when, they, when they've got their opportunity to come play here, that they, they hopefully get the same. For yourself, with a young daughter as well, you'll feel the importance even more to ensure we have equal access for boys and girls in football. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 100%, you know, and, you know, if, if young girls turn out at the weekend and, and they see the, the, the Celtic women's team play as well, it could inspire them to, you know, that's a path that they could go down as well. Um, and, you know, and um, it's no different and yeah, it's important that uh, they get the inspiration and from that as well. And so the more support they can come around and support them, the better. And, and it could show young girls that they could get involved as well.